More Minneapolis police officers took the stand today in the trial of former officer Mohammed Noor. He's charged with murder and manslaughter in the shooting death of Justine Ruschek Damond. Noor shot her after she had called 911 to report a possible assault in the alley behind her home. Reg Chapman has been following this case from the courtroom. He joins us now with the latest. Reg. Amelia, the 13th witness so far in this trial, just finished testifying about a half an hour ago. Sergeant Robert Lewis testified to how he escorted former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor to police headquarters from that crime scene that night. He said Noor said nothing during that entire ride. Now, earlier today, more body camera video and testimony took the jury right back to that scene. Attorney Patrick Lofton questioned Minneapolis police officer Jesse Lopez about the time he spent with Officer Matthew Harity after Justine Ruschek Damon was shot by his former partner, Mohammed Noor. Lopez said there was no conversation about the incident. He also said he told Noor to keep his mouth shut. Lopez testified Noor's head was down and there was little to no eye contact, something he says was not Noor's usual demeanor. Minneapolis police officer Joseph Grout took the stand and told the jury how he was confused about the shooting when he arrived on scene. He says he instinctively began looking for a weapon and began piecing things together. It was until about 30 minutes after arriving that he learned this was an officer-involved shooting. Grout testified it was Harity who radioed that there was no suspect at large. He told Grout, no, no, it's officer shot, it's officer. Justine's family remained in the courtroom for the viewing of Grout's body camera video. She was breathing when I was giving her CPR. She was gurgling, breathing. At that moment, Don Damon shook his head, no, and tightly closed his eyes. Justine's sister-in-law covered her eyes with her scarf, and Justine's brother closed his eyes and covered his ears. Lieutenant Dan May also took the stand. He told the jury he learned it was an officer-involved shooting from the incident commander on scene. Lieutenant May says he went with a homicide detective to 5024 Washburn Avenue South, where the 911 call originated from. From pictures he saw inside the house, he made the connection. The woman covered with the white sheet in the alley was a woman who called 911. Now, during cross-examination, Lieutenant May talked about ambush training and how MPD was the first in the state to offer this type of training because of a surge in officer ambushes during that time. Testimony begins again Monday morning at 9 a.m. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Reg.